I'm here today to talk about Irish Friends of Palestine. Us as members would like to highlight the injustice and the suffering of the people in Gaza on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, there is great suffering in Gaza, especially the, the, the children in Gaza who are living daily uh, around the attacks that's been ha happening on them, bombs being dropped on them, on their schools and the great suffering that's going on, uh, the starvation. You have a million and a half people who are effectively living in a, a prison uh, and they're, they're being attacked daily and made to suffer. We, as a group, were members on, on the ship, the MB Seisha, which was hijacked in international waters and we were kidnapped and brought uh, and put in prison in Israel. They thought then that it would stop us highlighting the injustice, but they're very much wrong because the Irish people won't stand by and let this injustice happen. Time and time again, which we have done in the past, where it's walking over mountains, running down roads, outside our city hall with our flags, we will highlight the injustice and what the suffering of the people in Gaza. And we appeal to people to come behind us and to support everything that we're doing. We have a function on the 10th of November. This function is not just about aid, but it's very, very, very important. It's about highlighting the, the injustice. It's about showing the people, getting the people there to support, support us. We, we will have a live link on the night and we will be speaking to our friends from Gaza and we want to show them the great Ari support that's there. So we're appealing to you to please come and support us. Uh, I recently went to the West Bank to work in the refugee camps, uh, teaching the young children. While I was there, I witnessed horrendous deprivation. Uh, I mean, the lack of water was the main issue. Um, it was totally ridiculous, uh, the, the way they were, they were being treated and the situation that they had to live in. Uh, the amount of poverty within the West Bank is, you can't, you can't even explain it. I mean, I was, going, I was going into the refugee camp every day to, to teach and I was meeting the kids and the brilliant, brilliant kids, but just so depraved, it's unbelievable. I'm part of the delegation going over to Gaza in November. Um, we're going over to bring aid over to the, the people of Gaza, uh, to the Palestinians. Um, we're hoping to, to help them in any way we can whenever we're over there, as well as bringing the aid. Um, for that, we need a fundraise. Uh, there's an event on the 10th of November in the Emerald Roadhouse, uh, and we would strongly ask everyone, um, as Irish Republicans, as young people, as supporters of the Palestinian conflict, to come out uh, on that night and attend the function. Well, as Irish Republicans from the north of Ireland, we find it very easy to identify with the Palestinians and the oppression which you're going through at the present time because we've gone through it so we can com completely understand uh, the difficulties they're going through. Uh, we have a commitment to the Palestinians which we gave several years back that we wouldn't turn our backs on them, that we would be there for them, that would be the voice of Palestine because they don't have a voice so they need to be heard and we are the people who are trying to have that voice heard. The, the, the mission is part of the ongoing uh, solidarity with the people of Palestine and that in previous attempts to get to Gaza, the, the, Irish, uh, the Irish team, uh, for instance last year, our boat, the Searsha, the MB Searsha, uh, in July and November, July and November, uh, first of all in July we were sabotaged by the Israelis uh, in an attempt to, to kill the 15 crew. Uh, our boat was repaired and November last year we attempted to return to, to Gaza. Uh, and we were hijacked uh, by the Israeli Defence Forces and brought to prison in Israel where we were held, we were held for the weekend and deported. But um, we intend to keep on with the solidarity with the people of Palestine and we are not going to go away. We're going to keep repeatedly breaking up to attempt to try to break the blockade because the promise we give to the Palestinians that we will stand by as Irish Republicans to that promise. I first in Kia became involved with Irish Friends of Palestine. I was always very aware of what was, was going on in the in the country, but uh, really when I'd heard about what had happened uh, to the last ship that went out to try to uh, to bring aid to the area and how it was uh, ruthlessly, uh, ruthlessly attacked by the uh, Israelis. Uh, so I, I took it upon myself to become more active with uh, uh, by, by helping out with the uh, Irish Friends of Palestine. Uh, in doing so over the past number of months, I've actually run a number of half marathons and races, namely in uh, Lisburn, uh, along the Antrim coast, and most recently uh, in Armagh. 
to highlight the issue and to raise money, both for our delegation uh, going out and to, uh, to bring as much aid to the area as possible. So I'm calling for uh, people uh, within the area to support the Irish Friends of Palestine, the different, uh, different forms of aid that they're bringing to the area and to attend the event being organised in the Devonish for uh, Saturday the 10th of November. As, as part of our delegation uh, and through our contacts to our friends in, in Gaza, there has been an appeal made to us to try and provide solar lights. The reason why we're bringing the solar lights is, is Israel, uh, as part of their punishment on the Palestinian people, cut off the power very early at night. Young children are using candles for light and for trying to do their homework and their schoolwork and stuff like that. These children are, are being badly burned. Some uh, unfortunately die as a result of, of, of their injuries. It's very important that we bring the aid out. We're also uh, bringing six fishermen out and these fishermen will be giving support to, to, to the uh, fishermen of Gaza. They are suffering horrendous attacks by the Israeli Navy. They are only being allowed out a short distance to fish with relatively no chance of catching fish. So these six fishermen will be working alongside the, these fishermen and along with ourselves and we intend to go out on the boats with the fishermen and see the way they're being attacked and the way they're suffering in Gaza. We have organised a function on the 10th of November in the Davnish complex in Finnegy and we are appealing everybody to come and support it. Please do come. There will be a live link with our friends in Gaza. Let them see your support. Attend the function. Please give us your, your very, very strong support and let the people in Gaza see that the Irish people will not stand by and watch this horrendous suffering and tar tar terrible attacks being done on them on a daily basis. Thank you very much.